Today we were invited in to the Freedom House Women's Center, which is a transitional home for homeless single women in the Williamsport area. Pastor Ann Runnels is here. She is from Nesbitt United Methodist Church, and she is the one that helped to get this all started. So thank you for inviting us in and for telling us a little bit about this ministry. Um, what prompted you to start this Women's Center? I had uh, encountered two women who were homeless, who were sleeping under a bridge in the middle of winter. And I... Uh, talked to a pastoral friend of mine who happens to be the pastor of this very church where this parsonage is located and asked him if we could temporarily put the women in here and from there it blossomed into the two churches talking about opening this center. Um, and how did the community help to get this place started? Um, well for the most part the community um, especially the community leaders were very supportive of this and uh, they gave me recommendations to get money. Um, we have had the two church communities come together. Um, they even uh, worshiped together one Sunday. And uh, as we got started, we had uh, people volunteer to come in and paint and patch walls and rehab the house for us. And we have also community people who donated uh, all the furniture in this house has been donated with the exception of the new cabinets for the kitchen. And so even our, some of our businesses in the area are willing to donate. It's wonderful whenever the community can all pull together for a good mission like this. Um, what are some things that you try to teach the women about and to help them with whenever they stay here? In general, what we teach is um, a lot of life lessons. Now, everything is based on from a Christian perspective, of course. They're required to go to church, and they're required to go to Bible study. And so um, to make a connection with Christ, we try to make disciples. And we have done fairly well with making disciples of most of these women that come here. Um, we teach them life lessons also. Some of them come and don't know how to keep house. Uh, have never been taught that kind of thing. There are some who do not know how to budget. We teach them budgeting. There's some that um, just don't know how to go out and shop and buy things that are necessary uh, for their household uh, without using all their money. And so teaching them all those you know, kinds of life. Some of them don't even know how to cook or don't cook well. And so they teach. And honestly, some of the women teach each other those things. They've gotten into the mix of it. And so um, my house manager, Peg, do, teaches budgeting, and she even did uh, math classes with uh, one of the girls who was going for her GED, helping her to do math. So uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot of things that they come, with, uh, come to us and uh, without knowing that we can teach them. It's neat that you build community in that way, that the women can help each other out with the skills that they may be better at, and then um, to teach another one who may have something that they can offer back. Um, what are some ways that you've taught them about uh, spiritual dealing with their money? Um, well, we work on the tithe method here, and I always tell them that is a biblical thing. Take them to the scriptures and tell them, you know, um, God asks us to tithe. And so um, we require them to um, tithe 10% to the house when they work and put 10% away in their savings account. And um, I, guess that, I guess that's basically what we usually do and tell them that God is pleased with that, with them saving and giving. Do you have any specific stories? You don't need to say names, but um, of someone that you've really seen blossom in the house and in their faith? Yes. Had a young girl that came here. Um, she uh, had no religious background. She came out of a family where the mother and um, all the most of the members of the family were drug addicts. And so from a very young age, she was exposed to drug use. She came here. She's been clean now two years. Um, 
she started really studying the Bible. She's learned how to respond rather than react. She's learned how to pray. She reads her scriptures daily, sometimes twice a day. She really has blossomed as a Christian. She has joined the church. She's joined the choir. And um, now says, you know, we are her family. So. It sounds like the whole philosophy of this house is about that, about being like a family and teaching them all of those life skills like cooking and budgeting and um, about sharing your faith with each other and just sounds like such a neat experience. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share about the house? Um, I guess the fact that we're all part of God's family and that's how we view the women that come to us that they are also members of God's family, and they may have strayed out their ways, but we're going to do everything that we can to bring them back into the family. Yeah, actually, when we had spoken earlier, you said that your church is also very welcoming to the to these ladies. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yes. Um, Nesbitt is a very welcoming congregation. Uh, the ladies, um, even the first time that they go there, even if the ladies are a little reluctant and a little shy, Members of the church come up to them and introduce themselves, and, and they invite them to everything. They include them in all things, and they're always included in prayer. So, Very important. Well, I thank you for um, offering that kind of hospitality to the women and um, for just welcoming with them with uh, God's arms in human form. So I thank you for your ministry. And if you would like to learn more about it, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express.